Get ready to watch 20 of the most dramatic, terrifying, and jaw-dropping Formula 2 crashes ever. The series has seen some crazy crashes, wild wrecks, and downright dangerous driving, making for some unbelievable moments. So buckle up and expect the unexpected. You're watching Racer's Reverie, and these are the worst Formula 2 crashes ever. First up was one of the absolute craziest crashes that F2 has ever seen. The young Venezuelan EJ Viso was taken for the ride of his life in this horrific flip in 2007. He was involved in a close battle mid-pack at the start of the GP2 race and was attempting to jump a few of his opponents early. But this isn't what he had in mind when he thought about jumping other cars. He attempted to overtake Michael Amamula while traveling at insane speed down the back straight, but as he did, he clipped the back of Amamula, sending him airborne immediately. He flew to a crazy height, flipped midair, rolled off the ground, and smashed the concrete wall at a horrible angle. He skated down the wall at high speed, ripping his car up in the process and narrowly missing the marshals who were standing behind the wall. Somehow, Viso survived this horror shot. But his car, well, it wasn't just as lucky. Oh, and another one! We are going to see a red flag, and that is a huge accident. That's Javier Villa, I think. And he's taken the top off uh, a water supply. During the thrilling 2011 spa francorchamps GP2 race, drivers were on edge, as always at the terrifying track. The crazy high-speed circuit is known to be one of the most feared in the world, and in this race, we were reminded why. Fabio Lima was involved in an awful accident that shocked the motorsport community. Lima was driving through the famous Raidion corner just after Eau Rouge, and out of nowhere, disaster struck for the young Swiss driver. He swerved sharply off track as his car snapped out of control in the worst possible place on the entire track. His car went headfirst towards the wall and hit it at incredible speed in a devastating accident. The barrier and his car were severely damaged, with his GP2 machine left in a twisted wreck due to the devastating impact. As it bounced back onto the tarmac, the true extent of the damage could be seen. As rescue personnel raced to the sight, onlookers held their breath. Lima miraculously came out unscathed, a credit to modern safety standards. It didn't put him off either, as he eventually became GP2 champion in 2013. During the 2011 Monza GP2 race, Arthur Peake and Sergio Canamasas were involved in an outrageous incident that turned their race upside down, literally. The tension between the two drivers increased as they fought for position, and it ended up turning sour very quickly. As the pair approached the first Lesmo corner, Peake decided to try and overtake Canamasas on the inside. He had enough room and was about to pull off a nice overtake, but Canamasas Massas had other ideas. He must have been daydreaming because he didn't see Peak and drove straight into him mid-corner. It was him that came off worst though because he suffered a serious flip as a result of the contact. Kanamasas rolled over into the gravel in a heart-stopping moment, flipping through the gravel in dramatic fashion. Trying to get past the car in. Is he going to try it into the second Lesbo? Is he going to know he's there? Oh! Huge crash! An enormous accident from Peak and Canamasas, who rolls dramatically and thankfully has landed the right way up. Both cars sustained major damage in the huge collision, and it's safe to say they weren't too happy with each other afterwards. The 2012 Malaysia Grand Prix was another exciting GP2 race, but one moment stood out in particular, and for good reason. Marcus Ericsson decided to go all out when defending against that year's eventual champion Davide Valsecchi but it didn't exactly end well. The Italian attempted a move around the outside of the Swede on the high-speed corner, but regretted it later. Ericsson misjudged his defending maneuver and ran into Valsecchi. He caught his wheel at just the wrong angle and flipped his car over in a very scary incident. It tumbled over and hit the ground upside down with serious force, with Valsecchi's head barely missing the ground. His car was wrecked, but he lived to fight another day.
When the GP2 series changed its name to Formula 2 in 2017, it may have created a new identity, but the racing, drama, and huge crashes stayed as insane as always. Take this as an example. In the 2020 Formula 2 sprint race in Sochi, Luca Giotto and Jack Eitken were battling extremely aggressively through the first part of the lap. And when the pair got to the insane turn 3, they didn't tease off. Instead, they went side by side through the long left-hander in a daring display of bravery. But to be honest, this crazy fight was bound to end in disaster, and just moments later, Eitken lost control of his Campos machine and hit the side of Giotto, causing an absolutely monster wreck. Giotto was punted off the track at insane speed causing a horrible side on impact with the barrier. And Eitken was no luckier, barreling into the wall head first in a devastating smash. We join this battle live, nothing between the two of them all! Well, that's a big crash into the wall. At turn three, when you are just looking after the grip and you are at the mercy of your adhesion in that corner. Somehow both got out of their car after shaking themselves off, but they definitely felt that one the next morning. Unfortunately, just one year after Fabio Lima's monster crash at Spa, Nigel Melker suffered a similar incident, in the exact same corner. The Dutchman was coming through the infamous Raidion corner at the top of the hill, and the car broke loose on him. Every racing driver's worst nightmare. He was shot off the track at terrifying speed, and as he headed straight towards the outside barrier, he could be seen frantically trying to save the car and get it back on track. But his efforts were no use, and a split second later, he hit the barrier at a shocking angle, wrecking his car instantly. The front lifted off the ground, debris went flying, and the car even caught fire. It was another reminder of why this corner is the most fierce in all of motorsports. As we know by now, this series is never short of surprises, and the 2011 season was no exception, saving the most devastating crash of the whole season for the very last race. As they lined up on the grid in Abu Dhabi for the last time that season, the fully packed field was sure to bring excitement to the Yas Marina track, but nobody predicted what would happen next. As the lights went out, the fourth place qualifier Danny Kloss stalled on the grid, and the chance of every car behind him avoiding him was pretty slim. Luis Reisha was coming from the back and had reached extremely high speed already. When trying to navigate the other drivers, he veered left to avoid Jolly and Palmer, but didn't see Kloss and smashed straight into him at full speed. The impact was horrific and sent Kloss flying into the air, hitting the metal barrier and spreading debris everywhere. Stalled car. Oh my goodness, that was an absolutely monumental shunt. You see him come swerving across to the left. Oh my word. Three cars in total got wrecked, but somehow they all avoided serious injury in this horror hit. The fan favorite Istanbul Park always delivers some dramatic racing, but in 2011's GP2 race, it all got a bit too dramatic for Julian Leal and Davide Rigon. The two were battling fiercely, with Rigon trying his best to get past Leal, who was putting on a great showcase in defensive driving. But when they got onto the main straight, everything changed. Rigon was right behind Leal as they drove flat out across the line and pulled out to make the overtake on Leal, but his attempt was absolutely terrible. He drove straight into the back of Leal, sending the young Colombian sideways into the concrete pit wall at well over 150 miles per hour. The impact was devastating, and Leal's car bounced back across the track as it slid out of control, shedding bodywork across the tarmac. Rigon hit the wall too, but but nothing like as hard as his rival. As Leal's car came to a rest, he tried to climb out, but it was obvious that he was in a bit of trouble. The suspension came through the cockpit in the smash, hit his leg, and broke his ankle. Talk about a bad day in the office. The 2006 GP2 round at Valencia was a relatively uneventful one for Irishman Adam Carroll. 
but that was until this happened. Driving for racing engineering, he was fighting the Campos racing car of Adrian Valles in an intense and close battle, but the two got a little bit too close for comfort when Carroll drove straight into the back of the Spaniard at his home race. Out of nowhere, Carroll's car was launched into the air, flying straight over Valles' car, creating an unbelievable scene. It smashed off the ground, breaking the front suspension, but when it got to the gravel trap, things got even worse. The car dug into the gravel and rolled over violently. Not once, not twice, but three times. The extremely nasty hit saw Carol barrel roll mid-air and take a serious beating as he landed. And uh, there. Oh. Well. I think Adam was just taken by surprise just how slow Vallis was there. Valles may be a little earlier on the brakes. That's the impact. Oh, that is a phenomenal picture. And if you'd like to have the best motorsports video landed in front of you, be sure to hit subscribe to our channel for the best motorsports videos around. Let's stay in Spain for a moment, as Antonio Giovinazzi, or the Italian Jesus as he used to be known, was driving for Prima Racing during the 2016 Barcelona GP2 weekend, when he had this brutal bang off the barrier. He was attempting an overtake on rival Sean Galael of Campos Racing, but Galael didn't exactly give him much space to get the move done. Galael pushed the Italian off the track, and with nowhere to go, Giovinazzi drove into the grass and made contact with Galael's car on one of the quickest points of the circuit. It flew into the air, giving the 2023 Le Mans winner no time to slow down at all. He barreled at top speed towards the barrier and hit it at crazy speed side on in a very painful looking impact. He was shaken up as he made his way out of his car, but managed to escape this one without any injuries. Now coming your way is not one, but two absolutely mega crashes from the same driver at the exact same track. Daniel De Jong is the driver in question, and the track, well, that would be none other than Spa, of course. The first of his heavy hits came in 2013 when he was driving for MP Motorsport, and to be honest, it was pretty self-inflicted. While approaching the daunting Eau Rouge corner completely flat out, he was racing Rio Harianto side by side. Rio thought that De Jong would give him room to continue the fight through the corner, but De Jong, well, he had other ideas. He cut Harianto off, and his rear tire hit Harianto's front wing, puncturing it instantly. A a split second later, De Jong found himself heading straight towards the barrier at outrageous speed. He collided with the wall in a massive shunt, wrecking the front and back of his car in the process. It was sheer luck that neither driver was injured in this crazy bit of racing. And as promised, here's De Jong serving as the double, as he had another wicked crash in the feature race just two years later. This time, though, things went a lot worse. He was fighting a guy that you might have heard of, called Pierre Gasly, and the pair were approaching the heart-stopping Blanchiment corner on the limit of their machinery, approaching 200 miles per hour. And of course, they're racing drivers, so neither of them were going to lift, but unfortunately for De Jong, Gasly must have been looking at his phone or something, because he moved across the track and drove straight into the side of him in a completely crazy move. De Jong's car was lifted into the air and completely out of his control, sending him head first into the barrier at ridiculous speed. The impact was shocking as his car was buried deep in the tires, completely destroyed. Oh my word! A huge impact into the tire barrier there. We panned away. That was going to be a safety car, I'm certain of that. That was a huge shunt. You do not want to be having that right there. He had to have four hours of surgery after this one on his sixth vertebrae, meaning he was out of the car for a while. I bet he never wants to see Spa ever again. How about another double disaster for another unfortunate upcomer? You might remember Fabio Lima from the second crash in this video and his crazy shunt at Spa. Well, this time he was having a bad day in Istanbul when his race took a turn for the worst, and a turn upside down, I might add. 
The start of the 2011 GP2 race at Istanbul Park was completely hectic, with all the drivers fighting extremely closely for position through the winding first section of the racetrack. Now that's a recipe for disaster. As the pack tightened, Lima found himself getting squeezed, and before he knew it, chaos was unfolding around him. Cars were spinning off, and he got fired up into the air. His car took off like a jet, barrel rolling mid-air across the racetrack in an unbelievably dangerous crash. He barely missed the other cars before viciously rolling again, taking heavy impact on the way down. Safe to say, he won't be forgetting that race too quickly. Certain drivers often have an affinity with certain tracks. Maybe their cars are always fast there. Perhaps the track suits their racing style. And sometimes they just seem to get lucky when they race there. But for Nicholas Latifi and the Yas Marina circuit in Abu Dhabi, it's the complete opposite. Way before his moment at the end of the 2021 F1 race there, let's not bring that up again, he was racing on the same track in 2018 during his Formula 2 days. At the start of the race, he stalled from third on the grid and was left as a sitting duck, hoping that every other driver would see his car and avoid hitting him. But unfortunately, things didn't work out that way. Latifi was hit by Arjun Mini at full speed in a massive shunt, taking the whole side off Latifi's car and punting it up the track in a very scary incident. But luck was on Latifi's side as he walked away unscathed. The Monaco street track is known for its unforgiving nature, with the walls being right beside the driver at every single corner, waiting to claim their next victim. And in 2018, Sean Gelael was caught out in the biggest way possible. In the second race of the weekend, Gelael was on for a solid top 10 finish and was pushing hard while coming through the high-speed swimming pool section. While attacking the awkward apex, he went deep and lost control of his Formula 2 machine. The car was catapulted straight into the air and directly towards the crash barrier on the other side of the track at monumental speed. Gilael suffered a heavy side impact that completely wrecked his car. Finding out how the smallest of mistakes can have the biggest consequences in the streets of Monte Carlo. And speaking of huge hits in the famous streets, they don't get much scarier than this one. When the championship leader Romain Grosjean came to Monaco in 2009, he would have been hoping to win big and extend his championship lead, but in a split second, everything went wrong. While approaching the turn 12 corner Tabac, Grosjean was feeling optimistic, to put it kindly, and decided to try and overtake on the car ahead. What could go wrong? He ran into the rear of the car ahead, launching the front of his car into the air and out of control. He smashed the wall at an almighty speed as his car mounted the crash barrier, leaving him looking up at the sky as his car lay beached. I went, Grow, look at that! Roman Grosjean gets it all wrong! And that was unbelievable, and that's the accident that we've been waiting for so many years. And he mounted the barrier, and let's hope that Roman Grosjean, the championship leader, is going to be okay. He's in the cockpit. Luckily for him, he must have hit the wall at just the right angle to avoid injury, as he somehow walked away from this unbelievable shunt. The Circuit de Barcelona Catalunya can produce some of the wildest racing, especially in Formula 2, thanks to its unique layout and overtaking opportunities. But someone should have told these guys in 2013 that not every corner is a passing opportunity, as this one went horribly wrong. The first race of the 2013 GP2 weekend in Barcelona saw Nathanael Berton involved in one of the most shocking flips in recent history. He was fighting fiercely with two other cars, and as the group approached the turn 10 corner La Caixa, things took a turn for the worst. As Berton tried to make his mind up about whether to go left or right, he ended up locking up his tires and going straight on instead. And not only did he go straight on, but he also went straight over the other two cars, damaging them and flipping himself in the process. His car caught crazy air, and he was extremely lucky not to roll over fully. Instead, he took a huge hit as his car smashed off the ground. That isn't one he'll forget easily. We all know how dangerous a stalled car on the grid can be. 
But few accidents demonstrate the true danger as much as this shocking shunt did in 2021. When F2 visited the high-speed Jeddah Corniche circuit in 2021, the race start turned into a nightmare for drivers Enzo Fittipaldi and Theo Porcher. The Frenchmen stalled from third of the grid, and there just wasn't enough time for Fittipaldi to avoid his car. Enzo drove right into Theo's stalled car at full speed, causing an outrageous impact for both drivers and completely wrecking both cars. Both were taken to hospital, with Fichipalji fracturing his right heel and Porsche managing to escape without injury. Talk about chaos. Nothing excites quite like a qualifying session around the streets of Monte Carlo. Cars going flat out, and when it goes wrong, it goes badly wrong. Take Jake Hughes in 2022 as an example. The Brit was right on the edge of grip, pushing as hard as he possibly could with one minute remaining in qualifying. He was on a decent lap, but that was until he got to the famous swimming pool section, where his hopes of a top time started to sink. Hughes went in too deep and smashed into the apex, launching his car straight into the air at ludicrous speed. He hit the inside wall in a crash that would be huge on its own, and was then sent straight into the outside wall. The impact was shocking, with the side on hit completely wrecking his car. Bodywork was ripped from the car and thrown across the track, in what was one of the most dramatic Monaco crashes in recent memory. Theo Porchel was on the unfortunate end of the stick again, this time in the 2022 Monza feature race. The pack managed to get through the famous first chicane without issue, which is a miracle in itself, but things quickly unfolded after that. Porchel hit Boschung coming out of turn 2, which started a chain reaction of crashes that kept getting worse and worse. Bashung hit the wall hard and Porsche spun, who then got hit not once, but twice. He got T-boned with an extremely hard impact, spinning his car around on the track, such was the force of the hit. Luckily, the car did its job and kept the Frenchman safe, but he definitely would have been sore after that one. Still scrapping there, there's going to be a spin in the background, into the wall goes Boshong, and it's Teo Porche, hit a couple of times, Luca Giotto and Oli Caldwell in that as well, that will be a safety car. And seeing as I'm feeling generous today, here is a bonus crash before we wrap up the video. This mental moment came from the 2009 GP2 race at Portugal's Portimao circuit. Vitaly Petrov stalled instantly at the start and was seen frantically waving his hands in the air to alert race control, hoping they would stop the race before he got hit. But unfortunately for him, his plan didn't work, as the very last car on the grid didn't see him in time. He got driven into by Michael Herc at full speed, hitting the rear of his car unbelievably hard, causing an immense crash. Debris was sent flying everywhere, and the two wrecked cars were left sitting on the grid in pieces. Now you can exhale, because you've just seen 21 of the worst Formula 2 crashes in history. From high-speed hits and T-bone crashes, to crazy flips and unbelievable rollovers, these shocking crashes definitely had a bit of everything. Let me know in the comments which crash you thought was the worst and let us know if we missed any. Please drop a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any videos in the future. This was Racer's Reverie. See you in the next video.